going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Like Father, Like Son. Like Father, Like Son. Yeah, I'm the son. I'm the father. And we be alike sometimes. You, you. Not right this second, because I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I be making random noises. So I, you know, moved in with my girlfriend. We've been living together for about two weeks. And we were basically already living together beforehand. So nothing really new, but it's, you know, she she already knows how weird I am. It's just strange to see her see me weird, like, all of the time. But I can't help it. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. My wife is always saying to me, damn, you're weird. That's some weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I'm like, bro, I don't know because this is just me. This is just what I do. <laughs> no, but see, actually for me, I do recognize that I am a strange individual. I recognize that and I respect it. Um, I was writing, I'm writing something. Or I actually just finished writing this song. And uh, the song is just, you know, I like to, I don't like to be pigeonheld. At one point I was just doing all gospel stuff, but it's like I feel some other things. So I started writing. So I don't like to be pigeonheld in any specific box. This particular song is just about being weird. I mean, the opening line is, if I was a car, I'd be a weirds mobile going fast. And I ain't built with brake pedals. All I got is gas. And... Uh, all I and all, I run on gas, but not that gasoline. I'm talking ass gas, the kind that come from rice and beans. Oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did the whole song, and I and I was outside just doing it, and I just started laughing. I was like, "You are a genuine weirdo, but you're pretty good at this weird stuff." <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm weird, but it's okay. It is okay. You can take that because you know what. We are what stirs the coffee. We, we we make it better. No, no, I don't like coffee. Use a different well, analogy. Hot chocolate. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we are the stirrers. Okay, so on today, well, how you been? I, 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 I've been okay, you know, just dealing with life. Dealing with life and being being a retired person, life is is really you deal with every every uh, second, every speck, you know. Mm-hmm. So, not not the routine thing that you thought it would be. Uh, not well. Yeah, it it is, but it isn't. Yeah, it is, but it isn't. You know, and and I'm I'm grateful. Too bad everybody can't be retired and have something to back you up and not yeah. be worried about shit all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm semi-retired. <laughs> <laughs> Quit my job, but you know I'm out here making it, I'm trying anyway. Lord have mercy. Mm. Let me get in there. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Life been in me too, but you know it's it, it's all good. Uh, all I'm trying to do is survive to the summertime. Because the summertime is wedding season, and I am all booked out this summer. Yeah. From June, I think there's like two weekends where I'm not doing anything, but June through September, all booked out. So, yeah. pumped about that. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. But we're in March, so April, May, June. I got a couple months, got a couple cycles of bills. <laughs> uh, before uh, that kicks in, why are we doing this? Yeah, I I just spe- speaking of bills, I I, I saw uh, the Seahawks press conference yesterday, and I found mm-hmm. found it really interesting because before they came on, like about two hours before, mm-hmm. I saw Russell's welcome into Denver, right? Yeah. And all this really, all this stuff is really weird to me because Russell says, "Hey, Seahawks are great. I'm great. Blah 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 is great." And he said, "Well, I didn't ask for this, but you know, I'm going to embrace it, right?" Then, right before the press conference of Seahawks, Jody mm-hmm. releases a statement. Pete and John both release statements, and the Seahawks release a statement, and all of them said, "Yo, that boy wanted out of here." So it's like I'm going, okay. So 
somebody's lying. There's four of them and one of you. Who's lying? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I didn't. I I didn't watch it. Uh, actually, I, only thing I saw on it was uh, somebody had posted um, a picture of Russell at the press conference, and he said uh, Russell don't want to be there. That's the that's the only context I had for anything, and I didn't watch anything. So you telling me that I'm like, hmm, who do I think would be lying? You know, I can see why both sides would lie. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, Russell to save face. Um, I didn't, you know, but you know, I'm the good guy. I'm, you know, yeah. and he's getting his money, you know. Uh, so I can see why, even if he did want out, which I can see why he would, because they couldn't pay him anyway. Um. But yeah, him trying to save face, but then the organization also trying to save face because that was our guy. And yeah, it was like nah, it was our no. face for years. Mm-hmm. So who I don't know. Um, I tend to go with. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I tend to go with the Seahawks are probably lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, if everybody released a statement. Before the press conference, I feel like they were trying to get ahead of yeah. whatever. So yeah, I think they probably was on the bull. But yeah, and 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 I, and I could see why they would be, but I can also see, you know, their pattern has been, uh oh, it's getting close to time for you to go because you're getting old mm-hmm. and you're getting you're making too much money. That's 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 been them. Yeah, I mean. But that's not necessarily a bad business model. They no, just not. execute not. They don't execute very good. Yeah, they don't. Um, they don't because they had this one cat, uh, and I don't even remember the dude. The dude named Brandon Jackson. But apparently, he had a neck injury, mm-hmm. and they said, "Oh, we're gonna take care of you." And he got hurt in preseason. And as soon as they let Bobby Wagner go, he went out and said, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they treat you like that. Think how they treat somebody who got injured." Yeah, man, man. <laughs> this is all a business at the end of the day. Yeah. That's why I don't be upset when if Russell wants to go, he want like, no, I'm not taking no pay cut. I want my money. I'm not mad at that because just like um, any normal job, you got to do jump through all these hoops to make them happy, but they'll let you go in a second and yeah. not think twice about it. Yeah. So get your money while you're there. I'm not. I wasn't mad. I'm like, oh, how well, you feel about Russell? I got the Seahawks tattoo. It was like, oh, you Seahawks fan? Or how you feel about Russell? I was like, more power to him. Yeah. I can't root for him, you know, as far as the team goes. But as an individual, I would have done the same thing. Give me my money. Yeah, honey. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so how I look at it. Yeah, yeah, I can dig it. See what else going on. Uh, I don't know. I'll be paying attention. I've been moving and setting stuff up. Yeah, I, I can do, it, it's really the same, the same old, same old. I mean, you know, Russia's kicking ass, and then on, on one hand, you hear they're kicking ass, but on the other hand, you hear that there's resistance. They're not kicking ass. They're getting discouraged, and you yeah. and you kind of go, well, okay. So this is in that. Russell Seahawks mode. You don't know who to believe. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, damn it. Why is everybody so mad? Okay, I was still, I'm still <laughs> same thing. It was all the other times I talked about it. I just whatever. Yeah, people are dumb to me. Yeah, it's, it's it's like the Irish and the and the um, the Protestants and the Catholics mm-hmm. in Ireland. It's all the same thing. Everybody mad. This belonged to me. This belonged to you. Shut up. Everybody yeah. sat down somewhere. Yeah, y'all y'all related. <laughs> I, just, I just never understand why death is the answer. Yeah. Uh, but fuck death right now. Uh, let let's. Well, you know what? Okay, so we got this game, Black Card Revoked, that Tim liked to play, because Tim be heavy on revoking black people's cards. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I Tim heard be that. watching. Hey, you be tripping. You <laughs> tripping. be tripping. You know, I'm at my dad. Come on, man. We're gonna jump you, Tim, <laughs> on this verbal stuff. Look. And, but here's the thing, actually, because we go back and forth because, you know, I do agree there are different types of blacks. But when he be, I don't like this tone when he be like, you came from the other side of the black part. Like, what you talking about? What's the other side? Well, I don't know. When somebody says other and make you feel some type of way, I don't like it. 
But uh, I don't be knowing certain stuff, and he feels like those are supposed to be black staples, and I'm like. Well, I, 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 I now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you something about about your mom that that pissed me off back in the day. And it's funny that that I know these people now, right? Mm. So we're sort of hanging out, and I can't even remember the circumstance, but we're hanging out with some total experienced people. One of them was Lulu's mom, Mary, yeah. right? Yeah. And Mary had all of this knowledge about black history. I mean, she was just spouting it off. And your mom was like, whoa! <laughs> you know, she was amazed at that. That pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ain't going to get in on this? <laughs> no, but it was like, yeah, but she's a Caucasian lady, Mary. And she has this knowledge she, that she studied. And your and your mom was like, "Whoa!" Like amazed at it. It just pissed me off because it was the kind of stuff that I already knew, mm-hmm. that I got growing up for the short amount of time that I was in North Carolina because yeah, it was just a normal South, course yeah. of thing. You know what I mean? See, and that's the and that's what we be getting into because I'll be like, "Listen, you can't always put the expectation that somebody else." knows or would do exactly what you would do in a situation because they came from a different thing. I said somebody yeah. who grew up in North Carolina is going may will approach a situation different than somebody who grew up in Washington. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I and so for the life of me, I don't understand why we butt heads on that premise. I'm like, nigga, why why do you think everybody's gonna react the same or feel the same? Because they're black, they should feel the same exact way you do about everything you're passionate about. That sounds crazy to me. It is crazy. <laughs> it don't sound. It, it is crazy because that that's not giving that's not giving the individual credit for having a brain. Mm-hmm. But see, and again, I think he just holds on to well, but black culture. Everybody should feel the same about black. Culture. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let, let, let's just stop right there. As far as I know and have known for my time here in Seattle or here in, in Washington State, from the fourth grade back in nineteen whatever the hell it was. <laughs> There ain't no damn black culture. I mean, when I was in eastern Washington and my parents was living over here in this area and I'd come over here, it was like, oh, I'm going into the black oasis. I mean, I I was like really intimidated, right? But once I got here in the 10th grade and started learning shit, that in reality, there's a smidgen of black culture in this area. There really isn't any and there hasn't been. See, not not like I grew up with in the short time I was in North Carolina. No, not like that. That was real culture. There is some culture here. People are trying to bring it, but it's infused with everything else now. Mm-hmm. So, and that was always my that was my question that I asked. I said, now what are we defining as culture? That I had asked this on our Say It Live show. I said, what are we defining as culture? <laughs> Uh, what are we defining as culture? Because, again, if we look around Seattle, what do we point to and say that's black culture? Exactly. Yeah, and, I, <laughs> you know, and I don't think there was a direct answer to my question at that point. Because I was like, oh, come on, like, what are, we, what are we talking about? Are we talking about African garb right now? Like, what are we talking about? You know, when we say uh, culture um, in in our immediate radius, you know, when we get mad about people, yo, you destroying our culture. What, what, what? Exactly? what are, yeah, what are we talking about? Now, I mean, yes, there are things you can't grasp onto. I think hairstyles. Absolutely. Um, they have been grasped on and kind of taken. Um I don't necessarily know about the nails. I mean, yes, growing up, all I saw was black women doing their nails, but I don't know. See, like that, that would be like a urban culture type thing to me, like a, a cultural thing I see, but I don't necessarily know if that's a global, this is what black people do is nails, or just the area I'm in, I see it. Well, well now, I don't know. I see an awful lot of women 
Well, not an awful lot, but I don't think that's just a black thing. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I, I think I, I see, but I think like with things that may not necessarily be black things, I think that black people might do them better, have more flair. Um, but I don't know. And see, with that, is that what we consider if we just do something better? All of a sudden, that's our culture. I think that. In certain aspects, I think that black people dress better, but our clothes, our culture, a certain style of clothes, our culture. And who make the clothes? Yeah, I don't know. And 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 just be, and just okay. Listen, dang it, I hate. I don't know. I don't want to teeter a fence. I don't. I don't guess. I don't know how. I can. I can. I'm allowed to feel different ways. I don't know. There are certain things that be like, let's say with dressing, you know, or or, or apparel. And some people be like, now nah, you biting our our culture. It'd be like, how come they can't wear the clothes? The clothes hang on th- them the same way they hang on you. I was like, why is that a, a a thing that is offensive? Now maybe a certain thing on a garment, maybe certain pieces of clothing can be offensive. But like the way you wear clothes, I remember like rolling up the one leg. Yeah. I don't know why that was cool. I'm not going to lie. I did it because it was cool. I saw black people doing it. That was a culture thing to me. But why, you know, just because you see black people doing it, it was like, that's our thing. Can't nobody else touch it. I don't think that's, we have that with nigga. And I, I don't think we need to have that attitude with everything. But I know it's always a thing of they're stealing our culture. So again, it's just like, well, what are we talking about? Can we pinpoint for my sanity? What we're talking about when we say culture. That's all. Yeah, yeah it it it's it's a it's a. I think it's a difficult thing to assess. Yeah. Because if we started something or, or start something, and it's unknown, and then all of a sudden it's known, like for example the uh, the uh, the hair, the weaves, right? Yeah. Mainstream has it now, yeah. Because mainstream adopted it because they recognize its value. They recognize, yeah, and that's what I say. The hair, I can definitely attach to that as saying. And, and then the music is music is the same exact way. Yes, yes. Now, okay, I. Okay, I got a question about music. Now, because, yeah, I, I love music. Music moves me. You know what I mean. And yes, there are certain type styles of music that I like more than others. But with that, it's weird because I feel like as black people, we say, you know, we, we, we created or the origins of all the, this music. And then we say everybody's stealing our stuff. And I'm like, there are only 12 notes. Well, yeah. no. Yeah, 12. There's only 12 notes. And in that, People have done billions of things with them 12 notes. So, and again, music made me feel different. I've recorded different styles of music, and I love the different styles. I hate that there's a connotation that if somebody who's not black likes a style of music, it makes them feel a way, and they present that, that they get dogged and like, you're stealing our stuff. It's like, how come music don't hit, can't hit me like it hit you? Like, that bugs me because if I wasn't black, but I still love music the way I do, I would get hated on. Like, that's trash to me. That sentiment is trash. Well, that's a, to me, that's an incorrect sentiment sentiment now let, let me interject this I just got done watching on Prime Video about an artist a story about an artist that I, I had heard of but I never really knew mm-hmm. named Howling Wolf oh yeah yeah and the whole thing was he was really inventive he's a really good guitar player and he, he would improvise over the, the guitar, and he played harmonica, right? Mm. But he only played in the little juke joints around. Well, the, the, the 
there's a record label her that signed him up decided they would try to promote him overseas. Mm-hmm. And what they did was they took him and some other artists, black artists over there who did the blues and introduced them to the Rolling Stones, mm-hmm. the Beatles, etc. Eric Clapton, I mean the whole and these guys re they did the same stuff, but it their version of it. Yeah. And it made these guys become more famous. Mm-hmm. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I know. I know how the game works, and 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 I and I know all that stuff. It's just again, I, I and and it sucks. I'm not going to say like uh, you know TikTok. There was a whole thing on TikTok where the black creators, the kid, they would make up these dances, and it you know it wouldn't go that far. But then a white person would see it and re- and do it, and it would blow up. I'm not saying that that's not trash. That's trash that the originals don't get the credit. Yeah. But who are you going to blame that on? You know what? Are these the algorithms and stuff, especially, you know, talk, uh, TikTok is just a big thing. So these algorithms, understand somebody's video, who somebody who don't have a lot of followers, but maybe like me. Well, I have a few now. But before then, creative but nobody's watching. I'm not in anybody's algorithm. When one random video blows up, then all of a sudden, you know, people got eyes on me. But for somebody who's just scrolling and your video that's not getting a lot of plays happens to be on their timeline and they're like, ooh, I want to do this dance because it's cool. And they do it, but they have more followers or whatever. And theirs blows up. I have a problem with the world saying you're a thief, you are. Da-da-da-da. This is like, bro, I'm doing what the other billion people on TikTok are doing. Yeah. When my video blew up, I had no idea why it blew up. None. Haven't had one blow up. I'm at two million on that. Haven't had one blow up like that since. Don't know why it happened. So it's with that thought process. It's like people get dogged. Like you're a thief. You're a culture vulture. You're stealing. I like the dance. It blew up. My bad. I didn't know. So I hate that people get bullied for shit like that. Yeah. That 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 bugs me. You know, you have Justin Timberlake, very white person. But the man hooked up with a black person, um, Timberland, and they made some shit that black people love. But then you have people saying, yo, you're a culture vulture. You're just going to take an R&B like a... He was a pop singer. He likes music, and now he's doing R&B, and now he's doing... Don't... So what? Ray Charles jumped all over the place with his genres. Yeah, he sure did. I'm like... CW. It, it, <laughs> but that stuff bugs me. It really does. When they got on Bruno Mars after his 24K Magic album which was so R&B, uh, like, New Jack swing heavy. And they was like, yo, he's trying to steal black culture. Yo, the man is great at making music. Don't act like you ain't bop to that shit. It was great. Because he's not the color you want, you mad. And that upsets me because if you can, if you love to do something and you're great at it, it just, it's trash that somebody looks at you and be like, nah, you're doing it for a nefarious reason. You just want to steal our culture. No, nah, I just want to add to it. I want to make great shit. That's the creative in me. It's like, why can't people just be creative? I don't know. Okay, rant. rant. <laughs> that just that that gets on my nerves. And I love Bruno Mars. Stop hating. And y'all ain't saying shit. Yeah, sue the Silk Sonic punched y'all in the mouth. Ain't nobody talking about culture vulture. Y'all was there smoking out the window. That's what you was smoking doing. Smoking out the window. There it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how I be feeling about stuff. <laughs> yeah. But the the root of that was black card revoked. Um, so we're gonna ask some questions now. I don't know the <laughs> answers. Wait, these are just these ones in my hand are majority rules wins. So hmm. we, we we can decide which one. This is the right answer. All right, which soap opera did your grandma make you watch with her? Well, well for me, yeah. my grandma didn't watch no. Neither one watched soap operas. They were both, well, my maternal grandmother was out volunteering while the other one was working, so. Okay. Um, I 
no, okay, we just had this conversation. So Granny uh-huh. was your grandmother uh-huh. on your mom's side? My dad's side. Dad's side. She did watch soap operas. Did she? Oh, uh, yeah. We, we, yeah. so, uh, let's see. <laughs> Her and Teresa, I think she got Teresa on the soap operas. Um, There's As the World Turns, Guiding Light, The Young and the Restless, and Days of Our Lives. It was all of those. What? Yes, especially The Young and the Restless. The Young and the Restless and Days of Our Lives were the ones that they were just like, everybody shut up. Gotta happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What nickname? Uh, what's the nickname your mother gives your significant other? So, what'd your mom call my mom? Rochelle. It's called her name. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your little, uh, your little girl. Oh, here were the, here were the things. Your little girlfriend, your little friend, the fast-tailed heifer. Hmm. What's his, What's her name? Okay, so your girlfriend's growing up. What'd your mom call him? I didn't have any. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, I was a that. square. You know what I mean? Nah, man, don't say you was a square, cause I don't like that word. You, but you would just didn't date. <laughs> yeah, I, di- I didn't. Oh man, okay. And, what and, was your and, first and, date? And, well, my first date was actually my ninth grade prom, and went with Candy Gentry. All right. Officer, yeah. oh no, that's Cookie, not Candy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wish she was young. <laughs> okay. And and they just called her. <laughs> your friend with the ha <laughs> your friend <laughs> your friend okay did 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 grandpa ask you if you got any candy that night <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay what's the best comedy movie of all time oh man I mean, they give a list here, but if you have something on your head. Well, let, let me see if, if mine. I don't know. Coming to America was pretty funny. That's on here. <laughs> I'll, I'll agree with that. Uh, they have House Party, which House Party was a cool movie. It wasn't hilarious. Of all time, what? Nah. Coming to America, Friday. Mm. Of all t- Friday's up there, but of all time, I'm not gonna give it that. And Harlem Nights, Harlem Nights, Harlem was Nights was now that was funny. actually pretty funny. It was very funny, and that movie did not get the credit it deserved. It sure actually did. bombed at the box office yeah. when it came out. That movie is great, yeah. hilarious. You gonna shoot me in my pinky toe? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the movie. All right, what movie? Does every black person have in their collection? I got three of these four. Rudy Ray Moore Dolomite. I got that. I mean, but I not, no. I don't. My, not, not, not the Eddie Murphy one. Oh, the original the, the Dolomite? Original. Wait. What movie does every black person have in their collection? Not should, but okay. Right. Or when, when Why I, would I have Dolomite, the original? Because it, it it was a cult thing, man. Yeah. And, and uh, that that is that is something I would say is culture. I mean, I've I've seen it, but I don't have it. Uh, I mean, as, as corny as, and and as bad acting as it was, it was still one of those things back in the day. Hey, a black man did this. Yeah. Well, what do they call it? The uh, black exploitation. But no, I wouldn't call it a black exploitation. I would call it one that a black man actually made. The other ones. Black people were in it, but yeah. they didn't. They didn't. They didn't profit from it except for uh, uh, sweet sweet back. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't have that in my collection. Uh, <laughs> but I, I have Dolomite is my name. Yeah, the Eddie Murphy version. Uh, well, on the TV. Uh, but okay, I, I look at. I've seen it. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was a great movie. But it it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. And and but 
I think those Bitch, things, are you for real? You know, those things that are, I think, truly culture may not be of the best quality, but... It happened. It happened, yeah. and a black man, again, did I, it. Yeah, I know the story. He, he... Yes, he did. He did it. Almost. Well, I, almost. I, I, I sometimes <laughs> think that, that folk who are younger don't get how how it was it, i mean back in the day we really we everybody that i know for example cheered for Doug Williams when he quarterbacked the Washington Redskins mm-hmm. for one reason and one reason only because he was a black man and they said black people couldn't play that position yeah because they're not intelligent enough yeah you know what i mean nah, so yeah. Yeah. Nah, i feel you um and definitely with the way, and I, I'm glad that they did that. that Eddie Murphy did the movie uh, to give the backstory, um, because yeah, because you know I could watch the movie, um, Dolomite movie, and just be like, black exploitation, you know, just another one of those, you yeah. know, super fly black exploitation movies. But to find out the backstory of it was very helpful. Um, actually, I think they should do that with a lot of the movies that happened back then. You know, give give the backstory. Yeah. Um, well, on this list is Friday, the the one with Ice Cube, not Jason. Boys in the Hood, The Color Purple, and Scarface. I have all those except The Color Purple. Scarface? Why was Scarface? Scarface with Al Pacino? Yeah. Cause, cause black people like that movie. That's what Cribs, MTV Cribs, told us. Uh, all black people like Scarface. Why? Uh, cause it's about um, it's about him taking over the world, man. He said the world is yours or mine or whatever that the blimp said. And then I went, what I didn't like, what I don't like is everybody loves that movie. All these rappers say Scarface, man. I love the movie. He was a boss. He did it. He got his back blown out. Because he was stupid. Yes. <laughs> but like, why is everybody like Scarface is my idol? This nigga dove into a mountain of cocaine, wanted to freak his sister. Yeah, I saw. I could read between the lines. He wanted his sister's body for himself. Shot his best friend over that. And then he gets his back. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. He put up a great fight. I mean, he, he killed like 32 people before he got got, but still. He got got. He got got. So, I don't understand why he is the model of what you're trying to be, but whatever. All right, let's see. Where we at? Okay. Answer these questions. Who had the best afro back in the day? There's no doubt. Link from Mod Squad. Clarence Williams the third. Is he on here? No. What? <laughs> uh, there's Angela Davis. John Shaft. What? <laughs> Pam Greer. Pam Greer had a good one. And Dr. J. Uh... You should look up Link from the Mod Squad. Link from the Mod Squad. That's your vote. Yeah. That boy had, I mean, his fro hit the ceiling. <laughs> and he walked, he had them high, high heel shoes on. Well, not high heels, but the platforms. Platforms. Yeah. Mod and he walked squad. sideways. That nigga was cool. Uh, okay. I see. I could never get my fro. Listen, I firmly believe that niggas would pick out their hair and then take clippers and trim off the bulgy parts. Cause I can never get mine. Just so you just so. patted it down. That's all. That's true. I cause I actually could get it straight, but I never felt like it was straight. I feel like I got an awkward shaped head. But well, I, I I felt weird because I didn't know at the time that my hair wasn't totally black, so there'd be these. Little reddish tint to it, <laughs> and and, and folks would be laughing. Uh, you got red hair, <laughs> and it's funny. And I always go, what the fuck? 
are you talking about? Then one day I seen it, I went, oh, shit. That's when I started dyeing my hair. Wait, how old were you? Huh? How old? Uh, 19, 20. Hmm, okay. That's when you started? Man, I ain't dyed my yeah, I ain't dyed my hair. I ain't I ain't had to cut it. <laughs> well, your 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 hair is all black. Now yeah. M- Megan's got more of the the, the tint that, that I had. Yeah. She 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 a little red. All right. Who's the best female soul singer of all time? Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. They don't, they don't list her. What? <laughs> nope. They got Patti LaBelle, Aretha Franklin, Etta James, Anita Baker. Now, they're all good. They're all good, no doubt. But Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Yeah, I agree. That. Nigga gave me a chill when she just opened. I seen her over at, at the old Heritage House on MLK Way. Uh-huh. We, we, oh, man. And she, oh, man. <laughs> she get that, that, that little scream that she goes, ah, that in key, on key, on key, every key. Yeah. Chill. Oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would. I'll t- I'd definitely take Shaka Khan and replace Aretha Franklin. Ah, I would replace Aretha. You should see some of the uh, conversations I have. Listen, my here's my thing with Aretha Franklin. I firmly believe that you can go to any black church in the South on any random Sunday and find. Three women in the building that can sing exactly like Aretha Franklin, and 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 I and I don't disagree with that. But check it out. What did you say? Sing like Aretha Franklin. She's the original. How? <laughs> She's the original church lady. Yeah. That's what, okay, but no, she ain't because uh, yeah, she is. Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> no. Man, I'm just saying. I'm no, just saying, no, her, she's her, the her church dad. lady that got the the shine. It's uh, her voice is I don't know. I think her voice is calm. Oh, man, they gonna hate me for that. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think her voice is calm though. In the south, she's me, DJ. But just my opinion. Yeah, I don't think she. I don't think it's it's common. And and it and it may be true to a point that she got the break that others don't get or didn't get. Yeah, maybe that's more what it is. Cause she can sing. I don't want to think like she can't sing. Obviously, she can sing. Um, but again, her style and her sound, like her actual texture, sound of her voice. I'm like. She sounds like a, a church lady. Now, I got one for you that should have been on that list. Hmm. Twinkie. Clark? Yeah. Yeah. I can I, see that. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I would... Well, I guess they're not doing groups. If we could put the Clark sisters as a group, because they'll... You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They was. You know what? That's some bad ladies right there. They, 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 they was almost as good as Aretha's sisters. I don't know them. Well, they they were all her background singers and whatnot. She, yeah. Her story is very much like Michael Jackson's in that it was a family group. Mm. And she was pushed out to the front. She wasn't necessarily the bad one or the best one, but she was the one that got out there. She wasn't the one that wrote all the stuff. Oh, she ain't the Michael Jackson story. Michael says, put me in the front, nigga. <laughs> Niggas can't even move like that. <laughs> hey, okay, Red, doing the podcast last night, and the question was, who would you... I don't even remember what the question was, but my answer was, I want to see a documentary. Oh, yeah, what, what's, who would you like to see a documentary made about? I said... I want a documentary made about Marlon Jackson. 
Cause I that's my favorite one, and I don't feel like he get to shine. For y'all, y'all know this this picture right here. This is when I that took one. my dad to take to see the Jacksons, and my man Marlon. That's my guy right there. Um, I want a documentary done on him and what he went through. Eric is always about Michael or the brothers as a whole, but Marlon don't get no shine, not never. So, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say that. Shout out to the people, guys. Yeah. And this is going to tell you, when this dude, I watched these you and Jackie talk, they really looked like they was old friends. Like, they were just standing, hanging around. Looked like they should have yeah. been passing a cigarette or something. <laughs> 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 and something he can hold on to that... Well, actually, maybe a lot of people can't say. At this point, Jackie was actually sick. He had a cold. And then a couple of days later, my dad had a cold. So I firmly believed it was somewhere in this region. <laughs> Jackie Jackson got my dad sick. <laughs> but, okay. When he sings, it makes you want to fall in love with somebody. Who? What what male singer when he sings makes you want to fall in love with somebody? Juni Morrison. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> who's that? What are they saying? He he, my bad. He was once a member of the Ohio Players, or once a member of P Funk, and my funk the P Funk. He co-wrote. Uh, uh, he's the one that co-wrote. Uh, Stomp, what, which 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 one is that? Stomp, make me. Oh, with Kirk Franklin. Yeah. Yeah, Stomp. You know, Stomp was an inner in a loop from the song he wrote for. Oh, he wrote people. the original. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Well, they have Barry White. Did he ever make you want to fall in love with somebody? No. Yeah, baby. Okay, Luther Vandross. Uh, no. Love is a strong thing. I don't know. Yeah, um, and but but every time Luther saying, "Oh wait, no." no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw what happened. <laughs> Teddy P. Teddy Pendergrass. Same with him. I mean, it's like it's all these romantic singers aren't really singing to, you know. So okay, Marvin Gaye. Yeah, he, he he's on Jackie's. Yep, that's that that he's on Jackie's. They they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> or were I guess I guess I guess Marvin yeah Marvin Mar Marvin Marvin actually I would bo go out and get anything Marvin made at at, at 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 a certain after a certain point there I was just about to say you know early Marvin I'm not saying it wasn't good but I it like the, the later yeah. Marvin yeah the one where he's Once got he started the, doing drugs and shit yeah the, the one I think let's get it on or the yeah. one where he had to the red stocking cap on and the blue jean jacket suit. Um, that shit was. I mean, I seen that record. I hadn't heard anything on it. And I seen it, the record at the record store, and I went, oh, yeah, this shit is good. Yeah, yeah. And I got it. I mean, I didn't even listen yeah, to it. One of them covers, what was it? I saw a meme. It's like if you, see a, if you saw an album and somebody was laying on the cover, like the Michael Jackson one. Like you knew it was going to be fire, and then there was like five albums where the dudes were laying like this, and it was like, you know what? All these albums are pretty good. <laughs> that was, they found the key there. Okay, let's see. Let's are the Ohio players with the bald lady on front? With the bald lady? The bald lady. I mean, they 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 found a, a recipe where they, all they had was a lady on front. One had a lady with her chains around her neck and whatnot, and a, had a whip in her hand and. And a whip, yeah, it looked like a Dolomite cover. Yeah, really, <laughs> but before Dol, yeah, before Dolomite, ecstasy was that one. Then it was pain, ecstasy, pleasure, skin tight. All of them had women on the cover. Skin tight. And then Judy, of course, had tightrope, which was had that same lady on on the cover. I don't know none of these albums. <laughs> 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 All right, what do you put on your pancakes? I don't eat pancakes. Oh, we bougie. <laughs> no, I don't do breakfast. I mean, I may do a you piece do of bacon here. breakfast food, yeah. though? Never? <sighs> breakfast food is delicious. Uh, hash browns on occasion, but they have to be fixed just right. But no, see, once upon a time in Asheville, 
I had breakfast made for me by my aunt. It was grits, pancakes, and oatmeal all in one day. And I got grits very, and oatmeal? Yeah. And I got very sick. And I never eat that shit again. All right. I mean, that's just me. But there's other breakfast foods. French toast. Too sweet. Waffles. On occasion. Pop tarts. Hell no. What is wrong with (laughs) y'all? You. Well, okay, the pop tarts was a y'all thing, but I just, everybody hates pop tarts. But, um, breakfast. Dude, what? Sausages, sausage and biscuits, like biscuits and gravy? Biscuits and jelly. That's a French toast. Not basically. No, no. No, <laughs> no, no. Because French toast is dipped in eggs. It's true. But that all right. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Um Well, the 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 choices of putting things on pancakes is a lager syrup. I don't know what that is. It's, ooh, that's that log stuff. Hundred uh, percent maple syrup. Hell no. Honey. No. Uh-uh. Miss Buttersworth. Buttersworth, bitches. That's what I rock. So if I got some Buttersworth in the kitchen right now. But buddy. you know what I put in my waffles? Chicken. No. Oh, I I do. What? Grape jelly. I've done that, and I've done great uh, jelly on the pancakes too it's not the it don't taste bad but it don't taste great to me yeah. i've done that man yeah, yeah if, if i what i found is if i put uh the syrup the log syrup and the, the butterworth or whatever on my waffles mm-hmm. what happens is it gets too loggy too soggy Okay, wait, what, what kind of waffles are we talking about? Waffle iron waffles or, you know, the box and put them in a the toaster? Real waffles. So... Well, if you can put it in a toaster, it ain't real. Well, it's... first of all, what what you mean? Why Why is that? Why, why, why? Because it's... Be- okay, see, anything that you put in a refrigerator or a freezer... And then come back to eat. You're not getting the real deal. Yes, you. It's a leftover. Right, but it's not original. It's a rich. Listen, it tastes great. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and ain't nobody got time to be making waffles. Ain't nobody got time to go get a waffle iron. I don't have waffle iron, so I'm not gonna make them. Uh, but I can get some Kellogg. They only cost twelve dollars. I don't want to. <laughs> That's what it is. I haven't had waffles in a minute. Actually, no. In real life, if I'm doing chicken and waffles, yes, we're going to find a waffle maker. I will never do an artificial waffle with chicken. But See, there you go. That's what it is. See, you agree. Artificial. Hey. You <laughs> <laughs> me with the A. But there's McDonald's. That's artificial. I don't know what. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm just saying there's other artificial things that people eat that. Yeah, that Frappuccino. Something's artificially in it. Like what? I don't know. I don't drink them, so I don't really study what's what's happening. Well, listen. (laughs) When you criticize or, or, or have an opinion about something, uh-huh. You're really not allowed to do it unless you've experienced it. I am, first of all. And second, I've experienced coffee. Yuck. You haven't experienced this? I Listen, I had one. One when? killed it. Uh, you know, back in the day. But they didn't happen back in the day. But fraps have existed. Frappuccinos, and that's what that is, right? Well, th- th- this is... This is better than a Frappuccino. You, you said it was a Frappuccino. Well, it, it, it's a McDonald's version of a Frappuccino. But it's not a real Frappuccino. A real fra- so it's artificial. <laughs> I got you. I got 
adventure. Don't ever say you can't win. It. No, it's a new adventure. It's called a frappy. Man, ain't nobody got no frappy. Ain't nobody got time for fraps. It's coffee, and coffee's gross. You know what I like? <laughs> what? You don't know? <laughs> Fairly not. The fraps. No. Are the frappuccinos? Uh. <laughs> No, well, you know, if you, if if you if you get the Pike Place Market mm-hmm. coffee, it's about ten shades lighter than normal coffee. All right. Yeah. But. All right. Cool. I I'm not drinking that either. I hate coffee. It's gross. I don't understand why people subscribe to it. I don't either, actually. But every once in a while, I'll have a cup just to make to reiterate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you go spend money to be like, yeah, I don't. No, like no, no, this. no, 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 no. I have a gift card that was given to me with a hundred dollars on it two years ago. So I've been going getting a cup of coffee every now and again, and you know. I see. Well, then there it is. Uh. I will not, even with a gift card, I'm getting nuggets. Not, not getting no coffee. How how can we sure the nuggets aren't? You're right. I'm not getting nuggets. What I will get, what I do get at McDonald's is two things. Oh, oh, oh the, the gift card wasn't McDonald's. Oh, that was just what it, oh, Starbucks? Yeah. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're limited on options there, but... Oh, man. Okay, let's do one more, and then I think we're at a good time. Uh, How long does Baptist church service last on Sundays? Wait, what's Ebenezer? African Methodist Episcopal, so we're not Baptist. How long does Baptist church service last on Sundays? Four hours. That's, That's option B. There's... There's two hours, which no, no, no. Uh, four hours, which you said, all day, which is subjective. If you ask a kid who had to go to church all day versus an adult, they might say two different things, but both really mean all day. Oh, and then there's D when pastor says so. Huh. It'd be a mix between the pastor and the choir, because sometimes the choir will hold on to a song they need to just let go. Yeah, true that. <laughs> you know, but again, that don't take it off the pastor. He, you know, and say, the uh, not Dio, uh, Cedric the Entertainer had a joke. He said, them pastors, they really are from the South. Them ones that get up to the pulpit and move and talk so slow like they weren't prepared. They'd be like, good morning. On today. Good morning. Still flipping like, okay. That was Reverend Thompson. (laughs) Reverend Thompson talked so slow and his voice was so deep and just, you wanted to go to bed. I always had some old lady pinching or kicking me. (laughs) Whatever. Anyway, (laughs) bad memories. No, okay, I think, yeah, that's a good place to stop right there. We thank you guys for joining us yep. for another episode of Like Father, Like Son. Yeah. As always, I'm going to be the son. And I'm going to be the daddy. Yeah. I, but I, I just call him dad. Uh, you know what? It's weird. You ever seen a grown man call his father daddy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where? I forgot. All right. Well, then, that's why I don't need to drag it. Yeah. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.